Hi, this is Luna, and here is my presentation. My book is called Crenshaw, written by Catherine Applegate. The genre of this book is fantasy. There are two hundred forty-five pages. This book is recommended from grade four to eight. The story begins with explaining our main character's current life. His name is Jackson. Jackson explains the recent viewing of a cat taller than him named Crenshaw. Crenshaw was like a normal cat, except the fact that he walks like a person and talks like a person. Crenshaw was a suspicious cat. Jackson's last sighting of Crenshaw was at the beach. There, Jackson saw Crenshaw surfing the waves, wearing a t-shirt and a nice pair of shades. After explaining the sighting of Crenshaw, Jackson explains how his family is facing financial problems. Jackson has a younger sister, Robin, a dog named Aretha, and his mom and dad. They are living in the condition where their parents work three part-time jobs each, but it still wasn't enough. Just when Jackson thought it was soon close to move back to their minivan, Crenshaw came to save his family and put him back into a healthy position. I liked this book because it had some sort of mind-ending it to it, and it had me hooked. I also like this book because it has a lot of meaning in a way that I don't think a lot of people have felt before. It feels like a lot of feelings were mixed in this book. An example is in this scene. Put my arms around Crenshaw's waist and yanked. It was like hunting a lion. The cat waited tongue. Crenshaw dug his claws deep into the quilt my great aunt Trudy made when I was a baby. I gave up and let go. Look, Crenshaw said as he extracted his claws from my quilt, "I can't go until I help you. I don't make the rules." Then who does? Crenshaw stared at me with eyes like green marbles. He put his two front paws on my shoulders. He smelled like soap suds and catnip and the ocean night. You do, Jackson, he said. You make the rules. Anyways, that was my presentation. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins, for letting me animate my presentation. Bye.